Welcome back guys. So today we're looking at the brand new BSA Scrambler. So this bike debuted at Motorcycle Live 2022. The bike is essentially a Scrambler version of the BSA Gold Star, which was also at that show. So we can expect the bike to be powered by the same Rotex engineered single cylinder 652cc and we should expect it to output 45 bhp and about 55 newton meters of torque. It'll be a big single so hopefully make a big thumping soundtrack as well. Other similarities between the two bikes are the braking system, so it's Brembo's front and rear, it looks identical to me. And similarly the frame looks very similar to the Gold Star frame, almost identical, maybe a slight modification to the rear subframe, if any. That's where the similarities end. Far from being the classic paint scheme, the new Scrambler is actually painted in very modern pearlescent white with highlights of a kind of gunmetal grey and the, even the BSA logo has changed from a reddy colour to an orangey coral. It looks absolutely fantastic in the metal when you see the BSA Scrambler up close. The Scrambler features longer travel suspension front and rear. The forks are right way up and feature fork gaiters. So take note Royal Enfield right way up forks look great on a Scrambler. The bottom of the bike is also protected by a sump guard, which could be plastic at this stage, but I would hope they would make it metal in the finished article. So we've got a 17-inch wheel at the rear and a 19-inch wheel up front. The wheels really set the bike off. They're actually Takasako XL rims, both front and rear, wrapped in Pirelli Scorpion STR rubber, which is a 70-30 uh, road, off-road bias tyre. The radiator on the BSA Scrambler is the same as the Gold Star, but its bulk seems to fit in much nicer with the more masculine, rugged theme of the Scrambler bike. And it's also had a little bit of a shroud added to it, which makes it look more modern. It also just makes the radiator really fit. I think this radiator fits on this bike where it didn't really fit on the original uh, new Gold Star. The exhaust on the Gold Star is silver, but here on the Scrambler, it's matte black with heat tape wrapped around the header. The heat shield is black and coming to the end of the exhaust you've also got this rather mean looking upswept silencer with angle cut axis. So that is going to be loud. The foot controls and the hand controls are much more modern on the Scrambler. So we've got a modern, more modern design. The BSA logo is on the foot controls. It looks like it's anodized black metal controls. It does look a lot better than the original Gold Star. The seat and the tank are very purposeful looking. The seat especially looks great. It's an Alcantara suede effect, so it's matte compared to the leather seat or leatherette seat on the Gold Star. But it just sets the bike off. The tank and the seat just look perfect on this bike. There are new details all over the bike with trim pieces being added here, there and everywhere. Even the stickers have been upgraded to make the bike look a little bit more rugged than the Gold Star. The front end is where this bike really shines. You've got that duck beak front mud guard in grey with orange accents, a redesigned headlight which has its own guard and you've got Renthal bars with a brace across the top so it looks really really good from the front aspect. The rider's view is also great on the Scrambler. You've got new brake levers which are adjustable and anodized. They look absolutely great. The bars look great and the instrument cluster looks superb. It's an LED unit which differs from the classic look of the Gold Star, but it looks great. It looks great. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not centered, which is similar to the Meteor's instrument cluster. I wish they would center the instrument cluster on the Scrambler. It's not perfect, however, as a lot of the detailed trim pieces they've added are just what looks like 3D printed plastic at the moment. Hopefully for the finished article they'll upgrade those to metal pieces and then it'll really pop. The bike's also nowhere near road ready. There's no mirrors, there's no indicators, there's no standardized controls on the Scrambler. So all of that will have to be added before it could be legally sold. I think BSA have heard some of the feedback from the Gold Star and they've brought this bike to the public with a higher benchmark for quality. Everything just looks great. They've used more quality items like the bars, the rims, the Brembo brakes are still there. So it all does come together in a really nice package actually. I expect the bike to be about seven grand, maybe a little bit over to compete with Royal Enfield. And going on BSA's track record, I expect it to be late 2023 before we can get our hands on this bike. But it does look great. They've done something really nice with the new Scrambler. It's probably one of the best looking Scramblers out there. So well done BSA, top job.